All right, in this example, immediately when I'm first, uh, first looking at this, before I even want to get into graphing, uh, Santana, can you tell me a transformation that's going on, anything that's happening with this graph? Uh, well, it's, you could say a horizontal compression of two. All right. I always, just to be consistent, I'm just going to use vertical. So I'd call this a vertical stretch. But you guys can see that the absolute value of A is greater than 1. So that is a vertical stretch. Or you could say that is going to be a horizontal compression. Okay? Um, what else is going on? What else is happening? Anybody else? Ressa, what else is happening here? Huh? <coughs> It is going to be a growth function because b is greater than 1, right? So it is a growth function. Good. So we know it's going to be a growth function. Um, very good. Claire, do you know anything else that's going on? Um. All right. Uh, Denise, you know anything that's going on? Right? So what is that going to do to the graph? Well, think about transformations. Shifting left, right, up, down. What is x minus 1? What is that going to be doing? Shifting left or right or up or down? Uh, or down. Uh, <laughs> um, remember, first thing you want to do is answer your question. Is, is your subtracting 1 inside the function or outside the function? Just give me an inside or outside. It's inside the function because it's raised up to the parentheses. If you remember, whenever we were talking about a function, any kind of operation inside the function, that was always left or right. Always. And remember, when it's inside the function, remember it was x opposite of h. So therefore, it's x opposite of 1. So therefore, you're shifting this right one unit. So this is going to be a shift one unit right. Juliana, what is this negative doing in front of the 2? OK, about the what axis? x-axis. Reflect the x-axis. And then does anybody know what the y-intercept is? Deanna, do you know? Be careful. It's just, um, it's, uh, oh yeah, well, OK, yes, it is going to be negative 2, yes. So it's going to be reflect axis is negative 2. OK? Now, this originally was a growth. So we know the graph originally looked like this, correct? But now it's getting reflected. All right, And then the graph is being shifted one unit to the right. So instead of it actually crossing at negative 2, now it's actually being shifted one unit to the right. right. So it actually doesn't have that same y-intercept anymore because it's actually being shifted over. So, but now, you can see here's my graph. Okay? I still have an asymptote. So now the graph is going to look something like this. So actually, the y-intercept technically is still not going to be at negative 2 because the graph got shifted over 2. But if there was no horizontal change, you would have been right with the negative 2. See, but I'd still use that. I still went down to negative 2. I just had to shift it over based on that. Do you see that? Now, again, we also talked about this compression. Remember, what that really does is that, uh, or sorry, the stretching. That really just kind of makes sure that it, grow, that it stretches a little bit farther, OK? And kind of a little bit harder to graph unless you're going to choosing some points. But all I ask you guys to do is just provide one, one equation, and that would be fine. Does everybody see that? OK, let's do 